Thanks for tuning in today. I'm going to go over a very special and important topic that I receive a tons of messages on how to properly care for black children's hair. So there aren't too many videos about this on YouTube. So I decided instead of just responding to a lot of these emails, I'll go ahead and upload a video that should be extremely helpful. This information will be really helpful, especially for families that are of transracial adoptions and just wanting to know more about how to care for black children's hair. Here's my first recommendation before we get started. It is to have a weekly hair routine. If you copy this down or screenshot it, this should be helpful. This is a seven day, very simple weekly routine, starting with Sunday being the wash day and Monday through Saturday daily moisture day and night and using a protective style in the hair and protecting the hair with some type of satin or silk bonnet or pillowcase. So that sample routine is very easy to follow and I'm going to go ahead and explain the four main things you need to do when caring for black children's hair. So the first thing is you want to cleanse the hair. So whether you're looking to achieve any of these pictures that you see here, where you want their hair to be shiny, you want it to be flourishing, growing, healthy, strong, and not necessarily matted, you have to definitely start with cleansing the hair properly. So you can choose to cleanse the hair like that routine showed you once a week starting out. If you feel like you need to increase that, you can increase it to twice a week. You want to be careful though because um, a lot of children with similar hair to my daughter, if you wash it too much, for example daily or multiple times a week, it can actually dry it out. So washing once a week to cleanse the hair should be efficient. This is the shampoo I'm using in my daughter's hair currently. It's called Urban Hydration Jamaican Castor Oil, Avocado Oil, and Aloe juice shampoo and detangler when you're looking for a shampoo that you're going to use to cleanse your child's hair you want to make sure that it says some of those key things that this one says on the front so this shampoo indicates it prevents damage promotes growth moisturizes and softens the hair those are some of the key things you want to look for when you're choosing a cleansing shampoo for your child and if you can get one that indicates that it's also a detangler that is even better so you're going to start off with cleansing your child's hair once a week so what i'm doing here is i'm on wash day about to wash savannah's very dry and matted hair so what you see here is probably similar to what's happening to your child's hair where it gets extremely dry and seems unmanageable but the great thing about black children's hair is that with the right care technique regiment and tools you can revive it and bring it back to a point of it being very very manageable softened and absolutely luxurious and beautiful so here's what I'm doing I'm simply washing Savannah's hair by putting that shampoo in it making sure to lather it up and cleansing well with my fingers scratching but not hurting her scalp just to make sure you're getting all that buildup of product out of the hair you want to definitely take extra care of the ends because that is where breakage can start in most cases definitely around the edges in the nape area and just shampooing vigorously the best time to do this in my recommendation is when you are bathing your child it's very easy even if your child's a baby you would still be doing the same thing obviously in a baby tub for me i can just put savannah in our regular tub and get her hair washed that way so that would be my recommendation of course check the scalp to make sure it is nice and clean if you're seeing any issues with dandruff and stuff you want to make sure you care by applying oil to their scalp if they're having those type of issues another tip when it comes to cleansing and shampooing your child's hair would be to definitely add some type of conditioner whether you choose a leave-in conditioner or one that you have to wash out definitely add that to your child's hair black children's hair definitely loves conditioner it helps to help the hair soften and help it be manageable when detangling i use the detangling brush that you just saw to detangle her hair while washing 
If you're not sure what kind of shampoo to start with, you can definitely check the textured hair care section of somewhere such as Walmart or Target. Any of those shampoos should be fine. They indicate for babies or they indicate for kids and you should be great with that. If you're still unsure, I have a ton of videos on what kind of shampoo you can use specifically. So now that we've gotten past cleansing and shampooing the hair at least once weekly, you can see after shampooing my child's hair, her curls are thriving, completely different from how we started with very dry matted hair. This is why cleansing and shampooing the hair is absolutely essential at least once a week. It already helps to bring the hair back. My next tip is moisture, moisture, moisture. If you're noticing that your child's hair is extremely dry and it just does not look right, it's probably because it is lacking moisture. When it comes to African American hair, black children's hair, you have to incorporate moisturizers. This one that I'm using here is by the brand called Miel. Um, this is a great recommendation. Again, you can visit the textured hair care section and choose one from there. One of the main ingredients in a moisturizer you want to look for, the first ingredient being water as you see here. This also has aloe leaf juice in it, which is excellent, and avocado oil. So those are great ingredients to look for if you're unsure of what kind of moisturizer to get. This is titled as an avocado hair milk. I would strongly recommend it if you're looking for something to start off with. And you can build your way and try different ones but you have to have to i stress this so much you have to be using a moisturizer in your child's hair so when you're using a moisturizer in the hair it should be a daily thing so on this day because this is wash day after washing the hair i'm applying the moisturizer this is going to help to seal and lock in that moisture and shine and softness that you want to maintain in the hair throughout the week although it is great you still have to apply some type of moisturizer each day so i have a spray bottle here with um, my own homemade aloe vera juice type of moisturizer i have a video on how to create that also you can use your own do-it-yourself moisturizer if you look up how to do that you want to be spraying that in your child's hair daily so in the morning and then again at night you would add that so back to that regimen we were talking about so from monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday you should be adding some type of spray moisturizer as well as a hair milk or thick moisturizer to the hair in the morning and the night in order for it not to experience dryness where some other races don't require moisturizing their child's hair every day and actually too much moisture can be heavy on the hair that is not the case when it comes to black children's hair Issues such as dryness and breakage in their hair can be remedied simply by moisturizing appropriately. It's definitely important to understand this because the curlier, thicker, or coarser hair has a harder time retaining moisture and for sebum to make it to the root and ends of the hair, unlike other hair textures. So you absolutely have to assist the hair so that it can be at its greatest potential. So you have to add that moisture to their hair. So I strongly recommend that you use a moisturizer or moisturizing milk like I'm doing here at least in the morning and then when your child gets home or later in the day you can add some type of moisture mist again something like an aloe vera spray or you can buy a store-bought moisturizing mist they have them also in the textured hair care section but the biggest takeaway from this when it comes to the moisture is you simply cannot be moisturizing african-american children's hair only let's say once or twice a week that is absolutely not sufficient enough you need to moisturize it multiple times a day in order to keep their hair from drying out so now that we've talked about moisture the next thing we're going to talk about that is extremely important is styling their hair now you're going to see me style my daughter savannah's hair you can see again where after cleaning and shampooing the hair and then adding moisture, her curls are revived and they look nice and juicy and luscious. That is what you want. That is why those two things are important. And now styling is important. The easiest thing to do if you're unsure about what styles to do in your child's hair, there's so many different accessories that you can add to looks that can switch up a look. So. For example, the easiest thing you can do is put their hair in a ponytail. 
if you put their hair in a ponytail and you switch it to a side ponytail middle other side throughout the week that is perfectly fine if that's the best that you can do there's nothing wrong with that but you want to freshen up that ponytail every day if that's what you're going to choose to do that means detangling it brushing it adding moisture multiple times a day and that's how you refresh that style if that's your easiest go-to that's fine i'll show you a picture of a classic ponytail look you can do so this is a classic ponytail look you literally just put their hair up in one ponytail using a soft bristle brush a little bit of moisturizer and they're good to go and you can switch that look up with different hair accessories such as different colored headbands that works fine or you can do my other great go-to that I'm showing you here where you part the hair in half in the back and you'll do half up half down this is also an extremely easy style that's considered a protective style that you can do um, it should not be that difficult I do have other variations of protective styles you can do to your child's hair that I show in other videos on my channel so definitely check those out but the simplest would be a ponytail or half up and half down and you would just simply gather the hair like you see me doing so with that soft bristle brush and since I moisturize it the hair is very smooth soft and easy to manage I am going to take a non rubber elastic, which is very important, which is this here. It's super stretchy and durable. You do not want to use rubber bands or anything rubber. It will tear out and break uh, their hair type. So you definitely want to stay away from that. You can get these type of bands that I'm using here at your local Walmart in the hair care section, as well as Sally's Beauty Supply. You can get them at Target. They're sold various places. If you cannot find them, you can simply go on Amazon and order them there also. So as you can see, voila, that is done. Very, very simple. I usually just leave the back out and let it thrive. If you don't want to leave the back out, you can just add another ponytail down there at the bottom. Those are very simple protective styles that are very easy to do and they're low tension styles, meaning there's not a lot of tension or pull on the hair so the hair won't break and have um, a lot of issues from that. That is very important if you do not style your child's hair, meaning if you choose to leave it out, for example, how sometimes I let my daughter wear a curly fro. Having their hair in a curly fro or their natural state is wonderful. However, it is actually high maintenance and a lot of people don't realize that. It is better for you to put the hair in a protective style so that things don't get in it. It's not getting um, compromised by weather, tangled and all types of stuff. And my last point, you have to protect African-American children's hair. Literally protect it with some type of bonnet that is satin or a silk or satin pillowcase in order to protect their hair. Their hair texture, if it rubs up against certain surfaces, it can be too harsh and that will dry their hair out, break it off, and the result will not be good. So definitely always put some type of bonnet on their hair at night those are the essentials guys i really hope this information was helpful thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day